Hi, welcome. So before we begin with EDA, in this video, I will briefly describe the data set we will be working on and where to download it so that you can work that out in your system also. So first, we will be working on house pricing prediction data set. So on Google, you can just type house price prediction Kaggle and this first link which is house prices advanced regression techniques just click on it and uh, by the way if you don't have an kaggle account please sign up because uh, you will be needing it to download this data set now once you sign up this page on this house price advanced regression techniques will open for you so it may ask for you to join the competition so I have already joined so it is not showing up for me but please join so what is this problem about let's see as we are in the phase of EDA this problem suits very well and you can explore data and utilize your EDA skills on this data set so I have chosen this data set to explain different concepts so it says ask a home buyer to describe their dream house and they probably won't begin with the height of basement ceiling or the proximity. So it is correct, right? If you ask a home buyer to describe their dream house, they will start with their location, then how big it should be. But this is talking about some height, basement ceiling and paint or other things so because uh, they want to say that these are the information that are there in the data set that we'll see with 79 explanatory variables describing almost every aspect of residential homes in Amis, Iowa. So this competition challenges you to predict the final price of the home. So with 79 explanatory variables, these 79 are the features and your target feature is the final price that the sale price you have to predict. So this is a regression problem. So let's move to the data set. As now you know that this data set talks about different features that have information of properties. So this data tab, if you click here, you will see that these are the four type of files in the data. We will be only dealing with the train.csv for now and data descriptions.txt. So if you see the train.csv file, if you just click here, there will be a preview available once you scroll down and the first column is ID then MS subclass MS zoning lot frontage lot area street so it has some numbers some NA that is the empty cells then some strings that says pave gravel GRVL right in lot shape we have ir1 reg so what is this we don't know right so to understand this just click the data descriptions.txt and you will see for each categorical variable what it is talking about for ms subclass 20 means one story 1946 newer so similarly for let's say 85 it is split foyer for 70 it is two story 1945 and older so these are various descriptions to describe the property so if we come down it has some information regarding the street where the property is is it a gravel or is it a paved la lot shape then these are the values that you will see in your training data but what these values meant are reg means regular ir1 means slightly irregular so similarly, this data set is consist of numbers and strings, which are categorical variables. And our target is to understand that how these all the features that we have here affect our target variable that is sales price. So before we begin, please download the data set from here and set it up in your local machine. And let's start working to explore this data set from the next videos.